Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Token Post interview. I am here joined by Mr. Gordon Gao, the CEO of WakeyChain. Welcome, sir. Thank you. <laughs> so, uh, starting off the interview, uh, yep. let's start with an easy one. So, yep. how would you define WakeyChain? What's the goal of WakeyChain? How, do you, how does WakeyChain use blockchain technology to achieve that goal? So, uh, WakeyChain is just like Ethereum and EOS. It's a public blockchain. And we have three stages. The mm -hmm. first one would be to target our target market is betting industry, mm -hmm. or betting, we say betting or prediction. And the second stage would be the decentralized exchange. Mm -hmm. And the third one would be the a foreign currency exchange. Mm -hmm. yeah. And in the first stage, our goal is to making the blockchain or decentralized prediction mainstream. So when it comes to betting, yep. is there a point behind decentralizing a, the betting process? Because, I mean, Bets are generated, uh, well, backed by a random numbers, right? So, yeah. uh, what would it mean to to decentralize it? I'm kind of curious to ask that. Yeah, because in the traditional platform, they are centralized, and it's some sometimes it's like a black box, mm -hmm. and whether the the number is real random, mm -hmm. you cannot tell that. Yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. and also your money are, are put on the platform, so they can only give you some scores to mark. Okay, this is your money. But when you withdraw, sometimes they, they, they don't give you the money. Mm -hmm. So, but in the decentralized system, your money or your token is either in your wallet or in the smart contract. It's mm -hmm. safe, mm -hmm. right? And it's fair. So, uh, like you mentioned, uh, Wakey Chain is a combination of Ethereum and EOS. So, the Turing Complete Smart Contract as well as the DPoS uh, consensus algorithm. So right, right. Would you care to uh, enlighten us on what that actually does or the benefits of? combining those two? So actually, we think DPoS, the DPoS consensus mechanism is fast, right? Mm -hmm. And wiki chain, we can achieve over 1,000 TPS. Mm -hmm. And this can, this allow us to convey some high parallel transactions. So, so we, we can develop some DApps based on, based on that. So this is the main purpose for us to use the DPoS system. So, uh how many validators are there in the uh, WakeyChain Depot system? Uh, it's 11. 11. Yeah. And uh, all the users uh, attribute their votes to them and elect validators. Right, exactly. And the voters can, can get some interest. Mm -hmm. oh, interest based on their uh, stakes? Uh, yes, exactly. So you mentioned about dApps, right? Right. And this is the key part of WakeyChain. So the right. Wakey Bet and the Wakey Times, which is currently out. Yeah. So within the dApp ecosystem of WakeyChain, Wakey Bet is something of a key element. So would you care to tell us what WakeyChain does and just a little bit of information behind what WakeyBet does? Uh, what WakeyBet does? Oh, yes. Yeah. So uh, unlike other like DApps on EOS or Ethereum system, WikiBet target, mar target market is the traditional betting or prediction market, mm -hmm. not only focus on the community of the crypto world. Mm -hmm. So j just like what, what I've mentioned before, our target is to land out of their circle. So we, we, we want to make Wikibet as convenient as enough for the traditional or someone outside the crypto world to mm -hmm. accept that. So we made several improvements, improvements of, of, of the Wikibet. Mm -hmm. So the first one, would, would, we developed a stable coin mm -hmm. within the Wikibet because for outsiders, they can't understand why my money is fluctuating, <laughs> right? Yes, yes, of yeah, yeah. And, and, also, and also, we developed some in-app a payment methods, mm -hmm. so people don't need to go to exchange and do the KYC and buy some coin and withdraw that into a wallet. Yes, yes. They don't need to do that. They can only charge. Uh, they, they can charge and withdraw their money just directly in the DApp. Mm -hmm. And this is the second one. And the third one is that in the traditional DApp, people will need need to pay some gas for yes. every movement, right? Yes. But for us, we modify the smart contract structure and we let the smart contract owner to pay the gas in, instead of the players. Mm -hmm. So this can be easier to understand. And, and the fourth one is that we use the mixed structure mm -hmm. between centralized system and decentralized system. We make large calculation happen on the centralized server and then make the record and the token allocation in a decentralized system, in the smart contract. Which is why people can trust the platform, right? Yeah, people can trust the platform and we, we can handle like you know, 2,000 players or, or more even playing at the same time mm -hmm. because the calculate, large amount of calculation are in the centralized server. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, uh, I am curious to ask, so yep. 
there are a lot of betting apps out there. Right. And all of them focus on different subjects. So per se, some focus on maybe soccer games, some focus on right. uh, dicing or uh, slants or gam uh, poker. So what does Wakeybet, what's Wakeybet's uh, main targeting uh, game? Actually, I would say all, all of that. Oh. <laughs> all of that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, uh, because last year was the, the World Cup, right? The, the FIFA mm -hmm. World Cup. So we started from the sports prediction and sports betting, mm -hmm. but now we, we are developing our random number generators. Mm -hmm. And so that can be used on poker or some other dice games because mm -hmm. this, this can be generally used. Mm -hmm. So when it comes to real life you know, sports games, you don't need random generators, but then right. when it comes to dicing or pokers, you've invent, invent, invented it to expand the applicability of Wakeybet, right? Yeah, exactly, exactly. And, and also we, we, we will make this uh, API is open to the public. Mm -hmm. So any developer can make good use of this random number generator to develop their own dApps. Mm -hmm. So that's how we build our community. So one trouble I had when yeah. downloading Wakeybet was that it wasn't available on App Store as well as right. when I tried to use the QR code on the website, yep. I wasn't able to download it. So yeah. I'm sure there must be a story behind that. <laughs> yeah, because, because you know, we're, we're, we're in China. Actually, sports betting or, or some other betting games are not allowed in most of the, the countries, mm -hmm. including China. So we, we cannot just, uh, you know, operate the, the Wikibet ourselves. Mm -hmm. But instead of that, the Wikibet is, serves as a template and we make it open source. So anyone who has the you know, license to do that can download the code from the, the GitHub. Mm -hmm. And th then they can deploy the dApp and run themselves. Mm -hmm. So has there been any uh, branched out uh, dApps? Uh, yeah, there, 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 are, there are some. And uh, we, we can tell that, I, I can see that on the blockchain explorer. Mm -hmm. So one, I'd say security, well, one, issue that the EOS gambling games are currently suffering from is that they are constantly getting hacked yeah. uh, due to, uh, not sure how to define it in technical terms, but uh, it's something of, of uh, congesting the transaction or taking into the, uh, uh, tapping into the random gener number generators. So are you aware of that? And does Wakeybet take that into account in creating its platform? Yeah, sure, sure. Actually, we, we consider that at the very beginning stage when, when we do the random number generator. Mm -hmm. And we tried a lot of like plans, but finally we, we, we find that maybe the, the blockchain random number generator all within a smart contract would be a pseudo proposition. Mm -hmm. And we finally, our solution is that we take the combination of the information on the blockchain and mm -hmm. the information off the blockchain. So that would be you know, safer than, than everything, everything on the blockchain. Mm -hmm. So you managed to solve the problem by separating where you guys store or generate the information. Right, yeah, exactly. So another dApp that uh, Wakey Chain has is Wakey Times. Right. And uh, I, I assume that to be a news platform, is it? Uh, actually, no. <laughs> okay, it, it seems like a news platform, but actually uh, my initial thought is that we need a wallet, right? Because mm -hmm. we are a public blo blockchain, we need a wallet. And the wallet will allow users to vote because they need to vote the, the block producer, mm -hmm. right? And we, we, we also have some functions like you can, you can, lock, you can lock your coins and get, mm -hmm. some, get some benefit. Mm -hmm. So we need a wallet. But the wallet users are our communities, right? So I'm thinking just what they care about except for the wallet, mm -hmm. they care about some crypto news. Yes, yes. Right? <laughs> so so that, that, that's why we, we add some news and we add some communities and people can, can say what, what they, what they, whatever they, they like mm -hmm. about Wikichain or about what, you know, we, we just need to group these people and to deliver them the news they want to see and to play and provide them with a platform that they can communicate with each other. So that's the 3.0 version of the Wiki time, is it? <clears throat> yeah, I, I think that, that, sh that should be. And also we are planning to add some games mm -hmm. and some like, like games or, or other interesting dApps within the, the wiki times. Also our community, if you are interested in, in that, if you are a developer and your dApp can be listed on the wiki times mm -hmm. because all the users of wiki times are from our community. Mm -hmm. So one interesting, uh, I'd say function or the, uh, the project that you guys have Another one that you have is Wakey Fund, which is another, which is your way of generating profit. And I'm pretty sure that Wakey Bet and Wakey Times also has a way of generating profit. So 
just to be blunt, to ask you, how does Wakey Chain make money? Is okay. it through fund or is it through the apps? Uh, I think it will be both mm -hmm. because you know within the within the wiki bed as I as I've mentioned before we uh, design a stable coin and what this stable coin is how, how this is generated because people will put some WICC which is our token mm -hmm. main, mainnet token mm -hmm. to the blockchain and then they will exchange some stable coins out the stable mm -hmm. coins would be circulating among all the wiki bed mm -hmm. D apps yes. so no matter how like say a hundred third party operators mm -hmm. right and this in this way it will cause the WSCC demand increase right mm -hmm. but the supply is fixed yes yes so that's the logic why WSCC will increase in this value and price mm -hmm. and the wiki found actually is the the largest holder of WSCC oh okay yeah so 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 th this is one thing and uh, another thing is that when a lot of people are using Wikibad, mm -hmm. the whole the ecosystem will be very busy, mm -hmm. right? And there will be a lot of gases, mm -hmm. and for the gases will be distributed to the block producers. Mm -hmm. So people will have more intention to vote, mm -hmm. right? And block producers can, can generate some profit. So that's block producers could be another mm -hmm. you know, pro profit income. For, for for our ecosystem and does wiki chain take part in yeah blocks? yeah I, I think we although for for now we have 11 block producers mm -hmm. but in the future we will take just like two or three mm -hmm. of them but wouldn't that tamper with the security issues if two or three were to create blocks no no no. we, we take two or three but we take oh, the, okay. the other the others to, to others <laughs> yeah we'll deliver that, that to others yeah <laughs> so we are entering 2019, and yep. 2018 has been a harsh year for crypto projects all around the world. So, Wakey Bet, Wakey Times, it's a success. I want to ask you, what's next for you? What's in line for 2019 when it comes to Wakey Chain? Yeah, I think our goal for 2019 is to, just like what, I, what I've said before, our target market is to attract the users outside the crypto world. Mm -hmm. So I think we are in step of doing that. Mm -hmm. We will make people who who are original there playing the traditional like pre betting or prediction platform we will attract those into the blockchain world who who, pre who, who, who can play with the wiki bet so that that's the goal of of you know our team in 2019 so since we are here in korea gambling or prediction market it's something of a taboo like people really don't really get into that or it's something like a secret they usually see it as something as negative so, right. uh, what's your perspective on the Korean market then? Uh, I think at first we, we will not break any anywhere's law. Yeah, this is the red line for us. But I think why people are thinking like gambling or betting is negative? Because people are keep losing money to, yes. to, to that. And this might because there are a lot of black box mm -hmm. and people can modify the result mm -hmm. and you know they, they just don't let you to with, with, withdraw your money mm -hmm. right just because of these reasons gambling is negative around the world mm -hmm. but i think with blockchain these problem can be solved mm -hmm. so i think this is not so negative but this is fun mm -hmm. right so that's why this game is charming to all the players mm -hmm. around the world this is fun and we can make this fun game fair mm -hmm. i think that's our mission so uh if i take part in wiki bet uh will i be able to make money <laughs> maybe <laughs> maybe yeah so at least at least you have the chance right <laughs> in, in the traditional a, a, a platform fair chance, or fair a chance. fair chance <laughs> right 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 well that is all the time we have today thank you so much for your time okay thank you ladies and gentlemen thank you for tuning in that was mr gordon gao the ceo of wiki chain